Antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins, are defensive gamma globulins that bind to the antigen and neutralize the threat. Let's look at the anatomy of an antibody. The antibody has four polypeptides, two which are known as the heavy chain and the other two are known as the light chain. Both chains are held together by a disulfide bond. Each chain will have a variable region which combines to form the antigen binding site of the antibody. Each chain will also have a constant region which determines the antibody's class or mechanism of the antibody. There are five classes of antibodies, immunoglobulin alpha, immunoglobulin delta, immunoglobulin epsilon, immunoglobulin gamma, and finally immunoglobulin mu. Now what do these antibodies do? Well, they perform four main mechanisms. The first mechanism includes neutralization. This is when antibodies bind to the active region of an antigen of a foreign pathogen to prevent that antigen from attaching to healthy cells and harming them. The second mechanism includes complement fixation in which antibodies will bind to the antigens of a pathogen activating the complement system, which results in lysis due to the membrane attack complex discussed in part two. The third mechanism includes antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity or ADCC for short. This mechanism is activated when FC receptors of leukocytes such as natural killer cells bind to the IgG antibodies which are attached to the pathogen's antigens. The natural killer cells will then send cytotoxic signals towards the pathogen ultimately killing them. The same action is seen in type 2 hypersensitivity only against the cells of the body. The fourth mechanism antibodies perform includes precipitation in which antibodies primarily IgM attach to the antigens from foreign pathogen to form the antigen antibody complex which prevents the pathogen from binding to the surface of healthy cells. This complex is big enough to be phagocytized. 